definitely was just talking for a couple minutes and realized I wasn't recording. So let's try that all again. Hey guys, it's Kara. Welcome to Kara Beck Style. I, today's video is going to be a review of the latest Chug J Beauty Box. Alright, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Welcome to you. I am so excited you're here and I really hope you enjoyed this video and you take the time to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. I love having you here and I love doing these videos. It's fun for me. Anywho, let's dive right in because I don't have an intro. Here's my intro. Target Beauty Box. I love this ish. I'm not gonna lie to you. I wish they would come out more, but I'll take what I can get. So, this is Hello Fresh Face. You get your $3 off any $15 or more beauty purchase. And then you get also a little description to do about um, all the items you're getting. So I really like the Target one. I also really like the Walmart beauty box too because they really give you like a, a chance to try some of those like, I call them drugstore-ish type brands um, to see if you might like them and make the investment possibly into the larger size. Anywho, I know you know that. So let's dive right in because this one I was really excited to get. So I'm obsessed with Neutrogena. I, their makeup line and their skincare line, everything just like works so good on my skin and I love the Hydro Boost collection. And I have been wanting to try this mascara. So this is the Plumping Mascara with Hyaluronic Acid, which doesn't sound good for your lashes, but vitamin E and keratin. So this is, I guess I don't need to take it out because the brush, you can see the brush like right there. But I'm super excited to try this one and I'm really hoping it lives up to the hype that I put in my own head. Just saying. Okay, so the next thing is the Good Chemistry Queen Bee um, Perfume with Essential Oils. So just a tiny little like doodly do there. And then inside, let me tell you what, it has black currant, peony, and amber. I like the smell of amber. And if I can, I don't like that it's not one of those squirt ones, but. Oh, it actually smells very good. It smells very floral and very fresh. Perfumey, shall I say? That's cool. I've never heard of this brand in Target before, but they're always coming out with like more brands, so it doesn't honestly surprise me. Shockingly, shock, shockingly enough, I can say it. I can say it. Um, Falsies have been making a huge, like a huge impact into my subscription boxes this month. Not just Target, but Allure. No, BoxyCharm and Influencer, not Allure. Allure was the Kat Von D one. Um, but these are the Allure accents. So this is um, number 003, I guess would be the um, style. So uh, I've said it before, I'm not like the most well-versed person in putting on falsies. I think I said in another video that my friend, when we were trying to do it like back in the day, like years and years ago for New Year's, she glued my eyes shut. I honestly, I like my like natural lashes. I have nice long lashes. I can kind of thicken them up with mascara. So this really isn't my thing, but you never know. I might get into it now that I have three new pairs. Just saying. All right, and then you also get the Up and Up Premium Cotton Rounds. So you get two of these little guys. I do not use cotton rounds. I use cotton balls with my micellar water. But 
potato, potato, it's a cotton. Speaking of micellar water, this is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water, all in one. Removes makeup and cleanses and refreshes. I'm, for some reason I thought this was rose scent, but I don't think it's scented. I think I assume that because it has a red top. But I really am excited to get this because, and in this size, because I don't have like a travel size micellar water right now. And please excuse my nails if you can tell that they are chipped. Crappy, crappy, crappy gel polish that I did myself. Um, but yes, I'm excited to have this. I haven't had, I haven't tried the Garnier one. I have tried the Nutri, Nutrigene, no. No, I, I have the yes to like cucumber one and then I have the L'Oreal one, I think. I don't know, but I think my sister has tried this one and she liked it. I don't really know. Um, okay, so this is the, I think this is the sleek one. This doesn't say the brand on the outside, but this is the sleek makeup major matte lip cream. So. Let me see if I can get this guy open. I was turned on to sleek makeup from one of my friends who went to London earlier, no, end of last year, I think. Um, oh, here it is, it says sleek up here. Um, and she brought me back, I believe it was like a highlighting like face palette with like contour and stuff and blush. Um, so I kinda like went a little crazy and I had bought like two eyeshadow palettes, another two like highlighting palettes from them. So this is actually my first, and I think I got a mascara too. Anywho, but this is my first lip thing from them. So I'll go ahead and swatch this. This is very, very similar to just about every other color I own. This is a very nice, almost like the color that I'm wearing now. You can see just a nice like neutral color. Just a little hint of Pella. But it went on really smooth. It seems to be drying pretty fast. So again, my only question with all this stuff is how long does it last on the lips? If it's anything like this, like Kaylin, like um, matte lipstick that I got, I can't even remember. It was either Ipsy or Birchbox, but it was honestly so amazing. It lasts through eating and drinking, and pretty much by the end of the day, it's when it starts to look a little bit worn. So that's always my question when it comes to that kind of stuff. And then the last thing this month is the Colgate Optic White Platinum White Express Whiter Teeth in Three Days toothpaste. <laughs> Not sure if that was weird that I said that so late, but um, this is enamel safe. So I actually use sensitive toothpaste um, and enamel shield because my teeth down here were starting to get a little bit, um, the enamel was starting to wear down. So I use enamel shield and I also, when I use like whitening, whitening strips, I use um, sensitive teeth. And it seems to be helping. My teeth haven't been super sensitive, but again, I do a lot of traveling for work, so this kind of stuff like honestly comes in handy. And this is a uh, 1.45 ounce, so pretty good. So that's it for my Target Beauty Box this month. I did not get a Walmart one this month. Um, I'm not sure when the next one will be coming up because I felt like I was getting Walmart like so frequently as, along with like the Target ones, but now I don't know what um, is going on with it. But that's pretty much it. If you have tried these products or if you have questions about them, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your feedback on if you've tried them or not. Um, and also if you like this type of video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. And uh, until next time, guys. Bye.